technology always folds itself into something very extraordinary and this time it has flipped me out so we have the fold and the flip and the future is definitely full so we got the oppo find n which is apparently not available in india to buy but the oppo guys have sent this phone to us and i found it very amusing because in its first iteration it got everything right we have the z fold 3 which is in a third iteration and somewhat i still feel that samsung has to do some work to get it spot on of course it's a very good form factor it is the flagship it is where every brand is taking its inspiration from and samsung has definitely killed it with this innovation and they are really pushing the envelope now with the z fold 3 they had really got everything going until we found that because we only found one thing lacking in this was the size because though it has got everything going for it i felt that the size of the screen it's too long you know it could have been a little shorter and this is exactly what oppo guys took it from there and they added everything that was missing in the samsung and added to this and whenever it comes to india i'm sure it's going to be selling very well we also have the flip 3 but we're not going to talk about this this is just to show you that another form factor which is going to be really very very interesting in the days ahead will be this size which really folds, flips itself into the pocket and quite easy to move around now oppo find has the right size when it folds out it gives you that dimensional which is about 7.1 inch uh, t amoled screen and it's very good to the eye apparently the battery also is cramped they have two batteries one on this side one on the other side and it's about 4500 mh battery so if you go by the sheer specs of it it should be giving you a much more longer time though the apps are all chinese so you have to really download the play store we are still figuring out how to weigh we have not really used it in the sense the battery whole time but whatever we have seen so far we are pretty impressed the fold also is very interesting because the hinge right here it's very smooth in fact you know it's really does its job very well it has a three camera set up at the rear and it feels quite premium in the hand and it's a very good size because this is a size which is right now you know even when you type i find that the uh, z fold 2 when you want to use the screen only single dimensional sometimes get very uh, cumbersome to type especially if you have a big hand and if you're trying to type everything in one hand so you will find that it's not as fast as it should be but with this with this size it's spot on because this is exactly your smartphone into two now what happens is that when you're doing this and when you fold out your viewing again becomes very good so oppo find n has really found its way into the future and it's got a lot of lot of things going for it how do you think this will work mm, well for us it really works very well because this is exactly the size and knowing by the specs of it uh, this won't, sh this shouldn't be priced as high as a samsung Fo z fold uh, 3 and apparently this the screen is made by samsung anyways so this is a back end story but let me tell you something show you something more about the oppo find 3 let's take a look so i'm just going to show you both the uh, on the both the phones we have opened exhibit magazine and you see how interesting it looks so supposing if you want to read something and if you want to come to this space and as opposed to the same thing it's quite uh, quite doable it also takes a full screen and you know to the eye if you're going the distance from where you're going to watch it it actually looks and feels almost same now if you, you can see with a big size difference this is 7.1 screen and the z fold 3 has got 7.6 inch screen now for that marginal increase in screen size you get a huge form factor which is easily pocketable and easily doable so right now you can see we are filming a small version with the iphone and when you click this so you get the picture and you get the whole picture like this so yeah it's a bad selfie but ignore that but this is how it is so it has this part factor when it comes to music we also saw the video on youtube because in china you can't watch youtube in india you can watch so we will watch that let's see what we get maybe we can just pick up any video from exhibit and just show you how this is to look and feel uh, let me show you a small video how this is how the video will play out if you're watching something on youtube here so this is how it looks the video highway in california called the Pacific you see so video resolution also is good 
So one thing you can do is one thing you what you can do in this that you can't do here is this. So one thing that you can do on the fold is that you know you can have a full screen view on this and of course you can do this but when I'm trying to do this in the Oppo phone finally it's not giving me that option you know whenever I'm trying to do that so that's something I think the Oppo will find it when they do in the next one Oppo has also taken the game on the camera on the fold 3 in a big way because it con it comes with a 50 megapixel main camera and then you have a 16 megapixel ultra wide and then 13 megapixel telephoto now what happens is in Z Fold 3 you get three cameras of 12 megapixel each in the front you get 10 megapixel in here you get 32 MP so Oppo has clearly taken the battle to Samsung yes so in terms of camera specs it really botches up a few we did take the uh, few pictures and comparisons just to show you we'll drop the photos and we've taken Do you think that you'd like to have this in India very soon? Drop in the comments and let the Oppo guys know that we would like this phone to be here and at what price because if this comes to India and it's priced at 2 lakh then it's end of the game.